Here we are going to show you how to set up the Delphi Technologies ADAS calibration equipment and calibrate a front camera on this Nissan LEAF. First measure the distance from the ground to the centre of the wheel. We will then be using that measurement to adjust the cross beam on the calibration frame. This speeds up the positioning process and ensures the highest levels of accuracy. On the frame, lower the height measurement bar until it rests on the ground. Then, adjust the cross beam as shown to match the wheel measurement reading just taken. Once complete, lift the height measurement bar back up and this stops it from being damaged when positioning the frame. Remove the wheel clamps from the frame and fit them to the front wheels. There are two types of wheel clamps. The first one shown here mounts directly to the wheel. The second type mounts to the tyre and protects the alloy from damage. Now fit the flag. At this point it doesn't matter if the scales or the mirrors are facing forwards. Finally, fit the tape measure holders into the end of the flag and repeat this procedure for the other wheel. Using the correct measurements from the DS Diagnostic Tool help file, measure the distance from the front wheel centre to the calibration crossbeam. Adjust the distance to the correct measurements. On this Nissan LEAF, this is 3000mm. Next, lower the frame from the mobility wheels to the main frame wheels. This allows us to make more precise adjustments to the frame's position. Move the flags from the front wheels to the rear wheels and ensure the mirrors are facing the front of the vehicle. Switch on the two lasers at the ends of the crossbeam, ensuring to wear safety glasses which can protect from laser exposure. Angle the rear mirrors so the laser is reflected back to the crossbeams and is towards the middle of the scale. Using the adjustment screw on the rear of the unit, adjust until the laser dot is equal on both the left and right crossbeam scales. Now turn over the flag so the scales are facing the front of the vehicle. Move the calibration frame, which is now set parallel to the rear axle, until the readings on both rear wheel scales are equal. This sets the frame in the centre of the rear axle. Now it's time to set the target holder height. Refer to the correct measurement in the DS Diagnostics help file. For this vehicle, it must be set at 130 centimeters. The help file will also inform you of the correct targets to select. All targets can be identified by their designation in red at the bottom of the board. The targets are double-sided to maximize coverage and minimize space requirements in a workshop. Place the targets onto the calibration frame. If the target background is black, then use the black mounting bolts provided. If like this example, the target background is white, use the white mounting bolt shown. During calibration, some manufacturers require you to move the spacing on the targets. These targets will be in two sections and additional frame will need to be fitted. Again, full instructions are provided in the help file. Now we're set up, it's time to calibrate. Plug in the DS interface into the OBD port and switch on the ignition. Begin by measuring the distance from the floor to the wheel arch. We will need this measurement again shortly. Select the vehicle and choose ADAS from the category list. As we are calibrating the camera, we have selected lane system. Upon communication, click the adjustments icon and select calibrating camera ACS cars. Here you will find all of the vehicle specific measurements and requirements. Select the play icon and proceed to calibration. Enter the values from both right and left measured right heights in millimetres. The camera is then going to be calibrated. Once calibration is successful, the calibration angles for your roll and pitch are displayed on screen. This is manufacturer specific and not everyone will show this. Finally, you will see an operation succeeded screen. 
This means the procedure is now complete. You can now go ahead and print off the calibration certificate from within the software and keep it for your records. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos.